So Navy will send out their kicking unit as the BYU defense seemingly has stopped the touchdown effort. Okay. His, hes his hesitation is what killed him on that one, Jay. Right here, if he's going to go in, he's got to put his head down and not let Chad Robinson throw him for a loss. BYU did a nice job. They had all of the options covered. They had the pitch back covered as, as, as he looked out to go to his pitch back. Uh, there was a man right on him. Frank Shank, the junior from Florida, who has a lot of experience kicking for the Navy team, will try a field goal. Down. The kick is good. So he kicks the field goal. And with 9-12 to go here in the first half of the football game, the Naval Academy gets three more points. BYU keeps the lead, however, leading by a score of 14-10. One thing Navy is doing, Blaine, is uh, the old ball control idea. If you keep the ball out of BYU's hands, that's one way to stop them from scoring. That's true, but uh, they, they look real good. They just put themselves down there at the end. Maybe a bad decision by Grizzard on that first play. And the second one, BYU had it covered very well. They hurt themselves with a fumble. And uh, so uh, giving BYU a little help here in the first half. They've controlled the football, though, kept it out of their hands on offense. And, and you're right, Jay. That's, that's the way you keep BYU out of the offense, out, out of the end zone. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. The midshipmen, a lot of them going down the sidelines to do the uh, push-ups for each point scored. You know, Jay, I went over to uh, broadcast the Air Force San Diego State game a few weeks ago, and uh, the Air Force... Uh, guys must have been in great shape after that game it was a 52 to 35 game and they do they do push-ups for the number of points each time so every time they scored they had to do points or had to do push-ups there's a look at the scoring drive 10 plays 75 yards and underneath so they had help everywhere they went Chris Smith just put a nice move on his man Ty Detmer looked the whole field over and was able to find Chris Smith for the first down first and 10 Cougars on the Navy 20 yard line Bellini goes in motion to the right Detmer looks to the right, back to throw. Throws downfield, touchdown! That's Matt Bellini who is rolling to the right, and man, when you looked into the end zone, Bellini was alone. Now the BYU fans are all coming out of the stands. They're going to do push-ups over on the other side. You see them there. <laughs> That's kind of an answer for the uh, Naval Academy doing that, I guess. This is the same route that Matt Bellini scored on in the first half, just a post over the middle of the field. He pressures to the outside. Got great speed and great moves. Nobody's going to keep up with the man-to-man -man down there. Well, he ran for a TD in the first half, got a pass for a TD. That's his third touchdown of the game. The extra point is good by Chaffetz. Matt Bellini coming in motion across the field. They ran with him. He's on it off. Matt Bellini just coming down, looking to the outside. Ty Detmer did another good job of looking the receivers off to the outside. Look at him look out to the right. He knows he's got Matt Bellini open. He takes that first look to the right, which moves that safety over and leaves Matt Bellini the opportunity to run that post on the inside for the touchdown. With 14-20 to play in this football game, Brigham Young ups the lead. It's now 24 to 10. Our thanks to the members of the BYU Cougar Club for the excellent support we receive in our uh, telecast. They've set up an order. BYU with the ball on the Navy 10-yard line where it's second and five. Cougars leading 24 to 10. Branson goes in motion. That's a handoff to Bellini to the right side. Skirts outside. Cuts inside. He's going to make it. Hey, that was a run and a half by Bellini because he he uh, was hit a couple of times. He had to get away from his blockers and ride it in. Fourth touchdown of the game for Bellini. And at the end, he did it on his own. He just ran over someone to the left side of that line, pulling again, ball and forth, and Neil Ford out in front of it. And there you'll see Fred Whittingham throwing a block for Matt Bellini. He just ran over that last tackler. And again, the BYU fans down to do 30 push-ups. Let's take a look at it from another angle. But right, we're going to have the extra point here first. This is Jason Chaffetz. The extra point attempt is up there and it's good. So Jason is now 12 of 12 this year. And BYU tacks on seven more with 11.45 to play in the game. The Cougars lead 31 to 10. You see the left side of the BYU line pull there. Neil Fort 76 on the left side blocking on number 92. Chris Smith doing a nice job. And at the end, Fred Whittingham just ran right through. I mean, or Matt Bellini just ran right through two tacklers. That's LaRocca that he hit with the shoulder. Take a look at the contact he has at the end. There was one guy on his legs and one guy in the upper body. Bellini just lowers the shoulder right into the end zone. You're not going to tackle him unless you wrap him up. 31-10, Cougars ahead. 
Next game for Brigham Young. On the other side, you see him there. <laughs> on the other side, you see him there. <laughs> on the other side, you see him there.